Hi, I'm Joachim for Statistics Globe and in this video I'll explain how to replace missing values in a data frame column based on the mean of this column using the R programming language. In the video I'm going to show you several examples and all of these examples are based on the data frame that we can create with lines 2 to 4 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data frame has been created which is called data and if you click on this data frame you can see that a new window appears which is showing the structure of our data and as you can see our data frame consists of 10 rows and 3 columns x1, x2 and x3. And as you can see, each of these columns contains missing values that are represented by NA. So let's assume that we want to replace the values of the column X1 by the mean of the observed values of this column. Then we can apply the code that you can see in lines 6 and 7. So in line 6 of the code, I'm first duplicating our input data frame because I want to keep an original version of our data frame. So if you run line 6 of the code, you can see that at the top right of RStudio, a new data frame appears, which is called data1. And at this point, this data frame consists of exactly the same values as our input data frame data. So if we want to replace the missing value in our first column x1, by the mean of the remaining values in this column. Then we can apply the code that you can see in line 7. And in this line of code, I'm using the mean function and I'm applying this function to our first column x1. And then I'm also specifying that I want to remove the NA values from the computation of the mean. And then I'm storing the output of this in our missing values in the column x1 and I'm specifying that I want to replace only the missing values in this column by using the isNA function. So if you run line 7 of the code our data data1 is updated so if you click on this data frame you can see that we have created a new data frame output and as you can see the missing value that was contained in the first cell in the first column in our input data frame was now replaced by the mean of the remaining rows. So in this case, the mean is six. So in this first example, I have explained how to replace the missing values in one column of a data frame. However, as you can see in our example, the other two columns x2 and x3 are also containing missing values. And in the next example, I'll explain how to replace the missing values of all columns of our data frame by the corresponding mean values of each column. So in order to do that, we are first going to replicate our data again in a new data frame, which is called data2. And then I'm using a for loop to loop over the columns of our data frame. And within this for loop, I'm specifying basically the same code as in the first example, but this time with the index position i. So if you run lines 10 to 12 of the code, our data frame is updated. And if you click on this data frame at the top right of RStudio, you can see that all columns have been modified so that the missing values or the NA values have been replaced by the mean of this column. So as you have seen in the second example of this tutorial, it is also possible to replace all columns of a data frame by their mean values. However, you have also seen that if we do that based on the basic installation of the R programming language, then the code is relatively complicated because we need to use a for loop and we need to write several lines of code. And for that reason, I want to show you another example in which I'm using an add-on package, which is called su. And in order to use the functions of the su package, we first need to install and load the su package, as you can see in lines 14 and 15 of the code. I have installed the package already. So for that reason, I'm just going to load it, as you can see in line 15 of the code. And after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of the su package, such as na.aggregate. And if we apply the na.aggregate function to our input data frame, then a new data frame can be created where all missing values are replaced by the corresponding mean values. So if you run line 17 of the code, another data frame is 
created at the top right of our studio, which is called data three. And if you click on this data frame, you can see that this output data frame contains exactly the same values as the data frame that we have created in the second example. However, as you can see, this code is much simpler than the for loop that we have used in the second example. So in this video, I have explained in three different examples how to replace missing values in a variable of a data frame by the mean of this variable. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. And I will put a link to this tutorial into the description below the video. Furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.